to look after his staff who arrived uh, from interstate and I was uh, providing the transportation from the hotel to the central Sydney. But uh, the problem was uh, because his staff was uh, supposed to be transferred from a few different locations and obviously I wasn't physically able to do everything on my own so I had to outsource with some of my trusted affiliates so that was the game plan they are great guys uh, they're super super reliable and the job got done in in the best possible way my name is Ratko a Sydney based chauffeur aka Ray on this channel I share my passion by giving you a glimpse into my chauffeur life I just got my morning coffee, it's still dark. Good morning everyone, it's currently 6.15. The traffic is absolutely shocking here in Sydney, Australia. And this is another day in my show for life. Okay, I was uh, checking the map to see where exactly I'm. When I get to the suburb, actually, in order to, to, to get the correct number of the, of the place, uh, I, I usually take a look at the maps. So my first pickup of the, of the day is 7 o'clock from Kuji, the place called Kuji in Sydney, which is on the eastern part of the, of the, of the city. Uh, it's a lovely, amazing beach, but today, this morning, I'm gonna, not going to be picking up anyone from the beach. Um, in fact, I'm taking uh, four or five people in, in the People Mover for, for a conference, um, going to the CBD, to the Central Business District. And I'm expecting uh, from Kuchi this time of the day, so which means uh, not even 7 o'clock to take uh, about uh, 20 minutes max. So as soon as I drop these people off uh, at the city, I'm gonna be shooting back uh, south, which is gonna be good for the simple reason uh, I'll be driving against the traffic, you know, all this traffic coming from south coming to the city. So it's gonna be busy that way, but me driving uh, the opposite way, it's gonna be much, much easier. After I pick up the people from the place called Karimba South, I'm gonna be taking them to the domestic airport uh, here in Sydney. I'm expecting uh, an easy half an hour drive, uh, so by half past nine I'll be finished and then I'm gonna be going to the place called Mossman which is over the Harbour Bridge and uh, I'll be picking up a couple of people going to the Christmas party because we are so close to Christmas. Let's go! I just arrived at the first pickup location here in Kuji and this is a block of apartments in a small little uh, street uh, here in this suburb. I'm quite surprised I've never been here before. It's a small tiny little street. I think you can access from the other side as well from the main road which has a view on the beach. On the other side of this uh, block of apartments there's a pub where you can actually people sit down, relax, have a beer, enjoy the view of the ocean. They have a couple of carry-ons which tells me they arrived from interstate state and they're doing a conference here in Sydney so I'm gonna wait for the rest of the people to come out I think there are five or six and we're gonna be on the way to Moor Park okay this is a car seat that uh, I sometimes keep it on the on the seat right next to me for the simple reason because I have a lot of luggage at the back and when I have no people I keep this car seat right next to me so I have I think today six people and just to make sure this seat is available next to me so this needs to go at the back <laughs> So here I am, Sydney Moor Park. I just dropped off the first clients for the day. Is the place where all these sporting events are happening. And that behind me is the Sydney Cricket Ground. And also next to it is the Allianz Stadium, which is the home of both Sydney FC and Sydney Roosters. While the SCG is the home ground of the Sydney Swans, which is the part of the Australian Football League.
Now my next booking is 9 o'clock. I have one hour and a half, which is a plenty of time to go and drive down south at the place called Karimba South. And uh, I'll be driving against the traffic, like I said, and it's gonna be easy drive. See you there. side of the Sydney is uh, completely opposite. The southbound is so busy while the northbound is not that. So from this place until my second client for the day, my second pickup location should not take longer than, than half an hour from here which is the airport area. This is the airport area and um, I'm taking this couple to the Sydney domestic airport. See, the first people that I had this morning, they were corporate clients. So they arrived from interstate in Sydney for a conference, while these people that I'm having now, they're private, individual, and I'm taking them to the Sydney domestic airport. <music> Before my next pickup, which is 9 o'clock, I've got something to show you behind me. So this is a hidden gem that I found here at the place called Lili Pili. It's a suburb at the south of Sydney, which is really nice location. And I can enjoy the view until my next pickup, which is 9 o'clock, for the next 15 to 20 minutes. It's so quiet. I think these people that live around here are so lucky. Well, this place is very close to the well-known Cronulla Beach. Then also it takes another probably 20 minutes to the Royal National Park. So it's a lovely, convenient and quiet location. It's 10 minutes to 9, so it's time to go for the second booking. also done that was a lovely couple that I had the first time client and uh, someone actually recommended my services to them and that's the actually best uh, marketing for, for your business as a chauffeur when people are recommending your services to someone else which I'm very uh, thankful and grateful for that now I'm off to the place called Bosman and uh, my next uh, booking time is half past 11 it's currently 10 to 10 which I have plenty of time so probably I'm gonna go and grab a coffee first then off to Mosman <laughs> That was a quick stop at the petrol station, got myself a quick coffee and now I'm on the way to Mosman.
pickup number three for today. I'm taking these six people from their house going to the place called Piemont for their Christmas parties. Christmas is just around the corner and people are having their Christmas parties. Australia has a big reason to celebrate today. Uh, in fact, on the World Cup, Australia did beat Denmark 1-0 uh, and did progress in the round 16. In fact, the whole country is uh, enormously happy for this big success for the Socceroos. And I had really busy morning uh, starting from that 7 o'clock in the morning when uh, a valued client of mine emailed me a few days ago asking me to look after his clients. There was a group of about uh, 20 people and uh, they were uh, requiring grand transportation from the hotel to the central business district. And when I was thinking that I was going to go home about um, 4 o'clock today, that uh, another client uh, rang me. He said, can you please take myself and my family tonight for dinner, which uh, I ended up here in North Sydney. And uh, I'm currently on standby. As soon as they're done with their dinner, I'm taking them home and then my day is over. It's getting dark, it's almost 7 o'clock and probably this is the last uh, scene for this video. If you did like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. It's still helping me a lot to improve my content. All the best and I'll see you in the next episode of my show for life.